Hey everyone, it's Rochelle and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to show you guys how I apply my wigs. Um, I know in a lot of my videos, I skip that step or apply my wigs in some of the scenes, but I just want to make a video specifically for how I apply my wigs. All right, so the wig that I'm showing you guys today, it's from My First Wigs, and these wigs are beginner friendly. So this is what the packaging looks like. So it is a lace front wig, and the texture is a curly hair. This is what the back looks like. So you have three combs in the wig, so one at the back and two at the side, and you also get adjustment straps, so the wig will fit your head perfectly. Now, I never really use the combs because I don't really like the combs at the side because I don't wanna pull out my edges, but the comb on the back, I usually use the ones in the back. So my first wig pretty much provide everything that you need for your wig. So you get a fishtail comb, you get some bobby pins, a hair pick, and elastic band, and also a wig cap. So you get two wig caps. And before I apply this wig, I'm gonna show you what I do to make it a little bit more natural because the wig, the hair, the knots are a little bit dark and I don't want you to see the darkness on the knots when I apply the wig. So this is what it looks like right now. So I'm gonna tweeze the hairline a bit and I'm also going to lighten up the knots. I'm gonna bleach the knots on this wig also. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and bleach the knot just to get the hairline looking a little bit more natural. So I'm using the Clearall BW2 Powder Lightener and the Salon Care 40 Cream Developer. You don't have to use 40, it's a pretty high number. You could use 30 or 20, but the 40 is gonna bleach pretty fast. All right, so I'm not really measuring this out to be honest with you guys. So I just poured the Cream Developer into the powder and I'm just gonna go ahead and mix that around in the bowl. I want it to have a really, really thick consistency. And the reason why we want it to be thick is because we don't want the bleach touching the hair. We only wanna bleach the knots on the frontal. So you wanna make sure that is super, super thick, almost like toothpaste. Um, I learned this from watching Tira Monet's channel where she put the brush in it. And if the brush is standing, that means it is thick enough to use. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and bleach the knots, and I'm just gonna go ahead and use a butter knife. Yes, that's what I'm using. I'm using a butter knife because I find that it's a lot easier to use something flat instead of using the brush, and I'm just spreading this all over the lace, so only on the lace. And I used the 40 developer, and it acted pretty, pretty fast, and I left it on for a little bit too long, you guys. So. Try leaving it on for like maybe 15 minutes. I had mine left, I left the product on the lace front for about 40 minutes and it got super, super brassy. I completely forgot about my wig. That's why I left it on for so long. So I'm gonna go in with some purple shampoo. So this is the Shimmer Light shampoo and this is gonna help to get rid of that orangey, brassy color because that is just not a good look for your lace to look orange and brassy. Trust me, I've had some orange and brassy lace wigs in the past so yeah use that purple shampoo and get rid of it so i'm going to leave the purple shampoo on for about 10 minutes all right so once i wash out the purple shampoo this is what the lace is looking like so it's looking a lot better it's not looking orange and brassy anymore all right so now we're going to move on to tweezing so i'm just going to grab some water because i like to tweeze my hair when it's wet so i'm just going to apply a bit of that water to the hairline and as you can see i part the hair because i'm only tweezing the hairline and with this wig, you really don't need to do a lot of tweezing you guys you don't want to over tweeze and i'm going to be honest with you i did over tweeze the the left side so i tweeze over tweeze the left side just a little bit with this wig i was so mad at myself i got a little bit too tweezer happy so yeah try not to over tweeze the hair okay because you don't want to have ball spots now i'm going to go ahead and tweeze the front as well so i just part it and just tweeze behind the hairline just take your time with this be patient and just don't over tweeze okay so yeah, I'm just tweezing behind the hairline and I'm gonna speed this up a little bit because it's pretty much the same thing I'm doing over and over. Now, I am pretty happy with how this wig turned out with the tweezing. Like I said though, I did over tweeze a little bit on the side. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it looks still, it still look pretty good. And you guys, I do make mistakes too, but I want to share my mistakes with you guys. So, you know, I make mistakes too. 
All right, so now we're gonna apply our wig and you're gonna need to apply a wig cap like you see me wearing here on my head. So you apply your wig cap to your head and I'm just showing you guys the wig, uh, the adjustment straps. I do have a little head so I have to use the adjustment straps and I also have to use the elastic band just to keep that wig very secure on my head. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull that wig cap down and I'm gonna go in with some got to be glued free spray and I'm just gonna apply this all around that wig cap just to get that cap nice and secure. And you guys, in case you're wondering, I do not have cornrows under uh, my wigs because I don't know how to cornrow, okay? I know, so sad. I don't know how to do cornrows. But I do have two big braids and I use a lot of hair gel to slick my hair down. That way it stays flat under my wigs. And I'm gonna go in with a blow dryer. You can also let this air dry also, but it doesn't really matter. I was just trying to speed up the whole process. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with a pair of scissors and I'm gonna cut off that extra band because it's gonna look crazy if you put your wig on and you can see that extra band right there. So we have to cut that part off. And I'm just cutting around the air. That part can be a little bit difficult sometimes, but just take your time and just cut it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and try the wig on just to see how it's looking with the wig cap under it. And I haven't cut the lace off as yet. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my scissors and cut off that excess lace because you really don't need any of that lace at all. So I'm just gonna cut all of that off. And I cut it off close to the wig hairline. So I leave like a tiny bit of lace onto the wig. So I took the wig off, so I'm gonna use some foundation powder and just add it to the cap. You can use any foundation powder as long as it's close to your skin tone, it really doesn't matter. And I'm just applying it right at the base of the wig cap. All right, so I'm gonna go in with some glue and I'm using the Ghost Bond Lace Glue. It's one of my favorites. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that to my wig cap. So I'm just applying that right by the forehead area. And I don't really use a lot of glue. I use like one layer and it can last up to two to three days. But if you want you if you want to wear your hair longer, like your wig longer, you can add up to five layers of glue. But I've never tried that because honestly, I take my wigs off quite frequently. I do, so I never really apply a lot of glue. But yeah, you can let this air dry or you can use a blow dryer. However, you do want to wait for the glue to be clear. I was a little bit impatient and I didn't really wait for it to be super clear, but it's best to wait for it the glue to get clear and then apply the wig. All right, so I'm pulling the wig down and then I'm gonna go in with a fishtail comb, make sure there's no glue on it. So this is a clean one and I'm just gonna go ahead and press down that lace. All right, so as you can see, I only applied the glue onto my forehead area. I know it looks a little white right now, but don't worry, it'll dry, okay? So it's not gonna look like that in the end. But I'm just getting my hair out of the way and I'm cutting off a little bit of that excess lace. So we have a little bit of excess lace and I'm just gonna go in with the blow dryer to help uh, speed up the process of drying that glue. Anyway, so now I'm gonna apply the glue to the sides as well, and I'm using a fishtail comb to spread that glue. So just spreading it like butter, and I'm doing the same thing on the other side as well. And you just wanna wait until that glue becomes clear. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pull down the sides as well. So basically the same thing we did with the forehead area, just pull the sides down and go in with a clean fishtail comb just to press that glue into the lace. And I'm just gonna cut off a little bit of that side hair because I don't need all that extra hair. And I do have some extra lace, so I'm just cutting that off as well. All right, so now that I'm done applying the wig, I'm gonna go ahead and style this hair really, really quickly. So I'm just using some water. This is just a bottle of water, that's it. And a lot of you girls have seen me rocking this hair on my Snapchat and I've gotten so many compliments in it. I really, really love the curl texture. I really do love this wig. It's very beginner friendly. Um, however, when I styled it in this video, I used the wet and wavy wet gel product. And I will tell you right now, it wasn't really the best product to use with this. I could have just used some hair conditioner because after I made this video, um, the next day I actually washed this product out of the hair and I just styled it with some water and some conditioner and the curls were so defined. It looks amazing. So you really don't need to use this product. Just use some conditioner and some hair serum and you're good to go. 
All right, so this next step is completely optional. You don't have to do baby hairs or you could do a little baby hair um, just to hide the lace better. So I'm just gonna go in with a little razor comb and then I'm gonna go in with my got to be hair gel and I'm gonna go ahead and use my raggedy little toothbrush to create those little swoops, little baby hair on the wig. And I'll tell you right now, you guys, I am not the best at doing baby hair. Like, I'm not really good at it. And I think the wig looked pretty good without it, but I feel like curly hair looks good with baby hair as well. So that's why I added the baby hair. But like I said, this is completely optional and you don't have to do this part. And this is pretty much what the wig looks like once I put out my little baby hair and this wig is pretty versatile you guys you can wear it half up half down middle part side part um, you can also wear it all the way up but you would have to pull out a little bit of the baby hair on the bottom of the wig or probably on your hair too just to make it look a little bit more natural in the back so yeah this is the completed video I will put all the hair details in the description bar down below so all the info for my first wig and the hair details will be in the description bar down below you guys so don't forget to check that out and i'll see you guys in another video very very soon i love you guys so much and thank you so much for watching